Hey everybody, Limless here, and uh, this video is going to be called Bugging Out with the Family. And these are all my bug out bags. I got five. I got one in the back, you just can't see it. And uh, I've made all these bug out bags. I've made one for myself, well actually two. One is uh, my primary, the other one is my secondary and I made all these other ones uh, for my family uh, just in case there is ever a uh, you know a shit hit the fan scenario uh, that we gotta leave the house because my my first plan is if it's shit hits the fan I'm staying in my fucking house I don't know about you guys I'm staying here I'm bugging in if I gotta leave I will leave but uh, anyways um, if we ever did have to leave uh, I've made a bug out bag so everybody can be uh, equipped with some form of uh, you know survival uh, equipment uh, food water medical supplies uh, a way to protect yourself ammunition for uh, my firearms and stuff of course if we're gonna bug out we're taking guns you know you gotta protect yourself from the marauders, the uh, the raiders, the looters, the 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 murderers, the rapists, you got to protect yourself. I mean, that's just common knowledge. Uh, also, hunting, you know, you got all this equipment. Uh, you need a way to feed yourself after you run out of the food that's in the bags. You need a way to protect the equipment that you got carried on your back. So, you know, of course, you're gonna take a firearm. I've got ammunition in uh, all of these bags, but two. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each individual bag, show you what's in it. Alright, this is my primary bug out bag. It is a, uh, it's an old military rucksack. I got it on Sportsman's Guide for like $25 or something because it was on sale one day. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I have made some changes to it since uh, my last video about it. I still kept the uh, military. This is a, this is an Alice pack, by the way. Alice pack, rucksack, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, this is a two-quart uh, military surplus water canteen. In here, uh, you got a little uh, pouch that allows you to hold... Uh, uh, water purification tablets, so that's pretty handy. And uh, that's all I got. On I did have a, uh, I had a mag pouch on there full of shotgun shells, but uh, I had to take a lot of stuff out of it uh, and put in different things that weighed less. Cause, I mean, this thing was weighing nearly 40 pounds. Uh, so now I got it down to about. Uh, 25 pounds 26 27 somewhere around that region but uh anyways let's get into it okay so this pouch on the front this is uh i got some of my medical supplies in this for instance this uh small <clears throat> uh bandage this is a military uh bandage I got a uh, snake bite and bee sting kit. One ounce tube of Neosporin. This has uh, band aids, alcohol uh, wipes, uh, two little things of Neosporin there. I uh, also have uh, sterile gauze strips. This bag has essentially the uh, same thing, except it has moist towelettes in there and more band-aids. And then a uh, triangular bandage, military triangular bandage. That's it for that one. This one has uh, ammo in it. Has my uh, Gerber Ultimate Survival Knife. I love this knife. It has a knife sharpener on the back of the sheath. It has the uh, fire still right there. The 
Knife is uh, pretty nice. Full tang, has a pommel on it. I, I like it. Partially serrated, all that jazz. I got uh, two 20 round uh, AK mags loaded down with uh, soft point ammunition. And I have one 10 rounder. This one would be for hunting. It's also got uh, soft point ammo in there. And of course, a 15 round Beretta mag. Fully loaded. It's just nothing special. Uh, full metal jacket. Rounds, of course. <clears throat> and then this uh, third pouch. This is kind of like miscellaneous. Got a poncho, hooded poncho, even better. Uh, about 10 zip ties, they're pretty useful. Two mouse traps. I figured I could set these to get something, you know, if you're starving to death. A little tiny mouse is better than nothing. I've got a uh, military uh, grade trip wire. I figured I could use this for uh, snares and the like. And I got, uh, this is about 50 foot of uh, 550 cord or paracord. And then into the main bag itself. I've got a uh, small, compact uh, sleeping bag. I like that. Fits right into the bug out bag. That's one of the changes I did. My old one was actually hanging on the bottom and there was really no efficient way for me to uh, carry it around. So I decided to get a small sleeping bag that I could still yet fit in because I'm, kind of I'm kind of a big guy. So Then I got a 10x10 10 10, uh, camo tarp. Since I'm not going to haul around a 10 pound tent, I figured you know, get a tarp so at least I won't get rained on toilet paper. I don't know about you, but I don't want to wipe my ass with leaves. So, what with the uh, toilet paper? Of course, I've got a cook set. This is just a cheap aluminum Col Coleman's uh, cook set. It's got uh, two pots and two pans. I'm not going to bust it out for, you know, to save some time and whatnot. Uh, then I got a roll of duct tape million different uses with that. Can't duck it, fuck it, right? Then I got, uh, I got a couple of these homemade MREs that I did, and I will put a uh, link in the description box if you want to watch uh, me make these. Just got, you know, a fork, I got a cliff bar, I got a, some sort of powder drink, I've got a ramen noodle, stick of gum, oxygen absorber, moist towelette, and I got in the very bottom there uh, hot cocoa mix. I believe I got four of those in there, three or four. Of course, got to have a mountain house meal. There's two meals to its own. Uh, and I got, this is kind of like a miscellaneous tool bag, I guess. I got Four D batteries uh, for my uh, mag light. I got a uh, nine volt battery uh, to make fire with. If you got a piece of steel wool, which I do, got a roll of electric tape. I got a pocket survival guide. I got uh, some Clorox disinfectant wipes in there, and I got this uh, Gerber fire starter still thing fire still can't remember what it's called so please forgive me uh, then in this uh, crown bag I got my mag light I believe this one is uh, 114 lumens really bright it's a 2D battery one Cool thing is I can turn that thing on with some fresh batteries in it and leave it on for nine consecutive hours before it would die. So I like that. Plus you don't have to change the bulb unless you break it because it's an LED. And of course, 
a fire bag. I got some military uh, fire gel, hand sanitizer, two boxes of uh, yeah, two boxes of uh, waterproof matches, some dryer lint, oxygen absorber, of course, keep everything nice and dry, or keep the air out. I mean, uh, a bic lighter. I think it's still wool. Sunscreen. For obvious reasons. Christ. Do I have to explain everything to you? No, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, then, of course, I got the condiment bag. Uh, extra forks and knives. Salt and pepper. Two packs of gum. Honey. Uh, lemon juice. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Then I got the snack bag. Cliff bars and cliff builder bars, which are essentially the same thing. So, that's it for my primary bug out bag. Alright, now this is my secondary bag. Or um, it could also be for, you know, whoever else is in my group or slash family. Now to start off, this is a uh, this is a Coleman's backpack. I, I don't know what kind it is, uh, but uh, let's get started. Got a water bottle, Nigene or Nalgene or whatever. I like it. Real hard plastic, and it uh, has a little measuring over on the side here. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Then I got a can of off deep woods. So that's the last thing you want to worry about is you know all the bugs and shit. Trust me on that. I can't stand getting bug bit. I hate mosquitoes and gnats. Fuck them. I hope they all die. All right, now this top little outer compartment. Uh, it's got like five of these cliff builder bars. I really don't feel like pulling all those out. So. Kind of a bitch to zip and unzip. Then on this bottom compartment, uh, we've got a rain poncho. This one's a thicker, more heavy duty one in my uh, my primary bag but uh, you know space is limited and I was also considering weight for that one now uh, in this compartment this bag has a lot of compartments by the way uh, in this compartment I have a hundred foot of black paracord in a little baggie I've got about half a roll of duct tape Got a 30 rounder. This is a polymer Tapco Mac. I fucking hate these. That's why it's shoved in the bug out bag, never to be used. Unless of an emergency arises, of course. I got 50 spare shots for uh, my AK mag. These are all uh, soft point. Then in the top, I still had a little room, as you can see. There's a little bit of room. I put two packs of waterproof matches and a Bic lighter, and I've also put electric tape around this so it doesn't open up and fucking spill everywhere in my bag. I've got this uh, Gerber. I didn't even know Gerber made this, but uh, I found this at Walmart one day for like 20 bucks, so I figured why not. It's a little saw. So, I snagged that. Pretty cheap. Uh, it's alright. It's, it's definitely all right to put in a bug out bag. So, yeah, little saw. Need to put some more medical supplies because I believe this is all I got. There's like, you know, 20 band-aids and like, you know, 20 alcohol wipes. And then in this uh, little zipper compartment, uh, I've got a Frontier. Where the hell is Frontier? I don't know if you can see that or not. It's too dark. Frontier uh, ceramic, I believe it's ceramic, ceramic uh, water emergency straw thing. Of course, 
Bear Grylls, Pocket Survival Guide. Regular, nothing special about a Bic lighter. Coleman's LED light. This one's pretty nice. Takes three uh, AAA batteries, and it's a. Uh, can't remember what the lumens are. I think it's like 90 or something. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And then I got a little pack of uh, AAA batteries for it. That's it for that compartment. And then in this compartment, it's mostly food. I was putting stuff in here with high calories, so of course, beefaroni. This can alone, I think, has over 500 calories. And then a big can of Chunky. Also put a hatchet in here. Uh, I, I need I need to get like a sheath or something for it, you know, to put on my belt. But you know I can't find one. It didn't come with one. All it came with with this plastic thing to protect the blade and to prevent the blade from cutting shit up. So that's all I got for it. But you know I only paid twelve bucks for it. So what do you expect? And then. The last thing I got is uh, I put four of these uh, homemade MREs in there. And uh, that's it for this one. Yep, that's it. Alright. Uh, Alto or whatever? What are, what are the fuck is this? I think that's the brand. Alto or whatever. This bag... Uh, it's all right. I mean, the zippers are not all that great, but then again, I found this in the attic, so uh, I'm I'm just working with what I can what I can get my hands on because I don't have a lot of money. I'm prepping on a budget, like most of us are, if we are prepping. That is. So uh, yeah, got a uh, metal uh, water bottle. I mean, that would be good if uh, you needed to boil the water, so it's metal, so. And I got a, uh, another can of off deep woods. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, and, uh, on the flap, there's a zipper compartment. Of course, the zipper would jam on me. In there, I got some garbage bags and stuff. Who knows? You could use a garbage bag for something. Fuck anything, really. Uh, and on here, on this zipper compartment in the bottom, military fire gel and a small fire bag. Matches. Two books of matches, a bic lighter, and some uh, dryer lint. And then you unzip it here, and I've got that's birdshot. I just I recycle shotgun boxes. It's buckshot. It's probably Wolf brand buckshot, and uh, this is just regular buck and ball or multi defense shot is what they got it on the box. Then in the bag. I've got my Winchester Bowie knife. Pretty decent. I don't know if it's full tang or not. Really sharp. I've sharpened it. Got about 50 foot of paracord there. I've got multiples of these. I got, uh, I believe, eight. Yeah. Eight cans of Sterno. Why would you need all those cans of Sterno? For my collapsible Sterno stove. And now uh, I'm not going to uh, fold that out. Uh, I'm just going to have to take, take it on my word that that is a collapsible Sterno stove. Then I got my, uh, my homemade MREs. I got a couple of those. Four. Four MREs. And in the crown bag. No, it's not crown. I wish it was. Uh, this is a tool bag. 
Got a knife sharpener. A little, I think they're, I think they're called five second knife sharpeners or whatever. Doesn't really sharpen at all that great, but you know, it does a little bit. Got a little tiny flashlight. Takes AAA batteries. And then I got a big pack batteries that I have electric taped together. And then, yeah, I just pulled a mini crown bag out of the big crown bag. Let me untie it. Pain in the ass. Okay, and there I've got a bottle of water purification tablets. A almost completely used up a uh, roll of electric tape. So if I put a full, I believe if I put a full one in there, it wouldn't fit. Um, and then I have this little tiny Gerber uh, uh, multi-tool. God, couldn't think of what it was called there for a second. Going half retard here. And that's all that's in that bag. All right, now this bag isn't uh, completed yet. I would say it's probably about 50% there. Now, if it was up to my wallet, I would just take this bag, throw it the fuck away, and get a better one. Like, get maybe a framed uh, military rucksack. But the thing is, I'm working on a budget, like I've mentioned. And, you know, I found this one in the attic, too. It's not great condition nor is it great quality but you know this is all I got and uh, I'm just trying to make you know a bag for everybody in the family uh, so let's get into this one okay in this pouch right here military fill dressing big one that's for like a gunshot or something and then this I got, uh, I believe this is about a hundred foot of paracord. That is empty now. On this other one. This zipper always gives me trouble. Every fucking time. I'm about ready to just save up whatever I got and just buy a framed one. That's probably why it refuses to open for me, because it knows, it knows it's going to get kicked to the curb soon. Alright, I got some garbage bags, because you never know. Uh, also got a uh, three subject uh, notebook, and I've also got uh, two pens in there. I don't know, maybe you could, uh, you know, draw out a little map of where you're at and, like, you know, how long it takes you to get to, like, let's say the creek or whatever or a river. Draw a little map or, you know, maybe uh, you're thinking into the future and maybe you could write a little, uh, little story or maybe, you know, just a diary. Pull an Anne Frank. Fuck, that's what I would do because then when shit goes back to normal, if it does, uh, hey, you might be rich. Then inside here, it's got a lot of food in it. Got some plastic bags. And I've got some oatmeal and uh, Cliff bars for snacks. I've got uh, some MREs. More MREs. More MREs. Can of chunky. Who don't like that? Beefaroni. A pound of pinto beans. Another MRE. The fire starting bag. Here we go. We got two big lighters, a little box of matches, I think a dryer lint. And uh, this big block here is that uh, fire shit, fire starter. Got a first aid kit. 
This one looks like it's already been through the fucking apocalypse. It's kind of funny. Oh well. And then I've got a propane stove. And I've got two one pound propane tanks for the stove. Now, uh, things that I would like to add to it would be either uh, a knife and or a machete. Definitely a cook set like I had in my main bug out bag to cook the food in and stuff. And uh, a water bottle. I need to put some ammo in there. Maybe 9 mil or 12 gauge or maybe 22. Maybe put a brick of 22 in there. Uh, yeah. On to the next bag. And last but not least, this is actually uh, my medical bug out bag. Uh, this is just a, your everyday regular Adidas gym bag. You know. This is primarily why I picked it because it just it looks like it would have nothing of value in it just you know regular bullshit like clothes and shoes and the like sweaty gym socks no it's actually chocked full of uh, very valuable medical supplies uh, especially in SHTF uh, I mean this stuff doesn't cost very much right now but during SHTF this would definitely be worth a whole hell of a lot than what it is now so Okay, so big main zipping compartments. Okay, for starters, I got a camelback in there. This is a three liter camelback. Wear it on your back, of course, because it's a camelback. Herp of fucking derp. Because uh, that's one thing that is uh, I'm trying to make standard with all my. Uh, all my bug out bags is they will all have some way to transport water. Now inside here I have, uh, I have four uh, first aid kits. I got two of these. They, uh, these are metal. And two. And I got this one. Bought this at uh, I believe it was Sportsman's Guide or something. It was really cheap. It was like 10 bucks or something. And then this Johnson & Johnson first aid kit. I've, uh, I've beefed this up along with all the other ones. I have beefed these up. I have added lots and lots of stuff to them to make them uh, more valuable. And uh, plus there was a lot of empty space in here. So I was wanting to cram as much medical shit into these kits as possible. I mean, I've added... Uh, eye drops, uh, anti-diarrhea tablets, more medical tape, uh, a shit ton more band-aids, more uh, alcohol wipes. Uh, I've added uh, just tons and tons of stuff. Uh, liquid band-aid. I've added uh, gauze pads. Uh, gauze gauze pads with uh, quick clot in them. I've also got a box of alcohol uh, pads, wipes, whatever you want to call them, swabs. They go by 50 different names. Finger splints. Just regular fabric band-aids. I prefer fabric band-aids over plastic ones. I think they stay on you longer and they can take more abuse. These are for uh, your knuckles and fingertips. Those band-aids are very valuable. It sucks to have cuts and nicks on fingertips. Hey, that rhymes. Poet didn't know it. Enough of the tomfoolery. Uh, then you just got your regular tough band-aids or whatever. Gloves. Rubber gloves. I can't tell you how many videos I see and people are like, Yep, I got all these medical supplies. Where's your rubber gloves at, dude? Oh, I don't have any. Okay. I hope you like giving people infections and shit. Um... More, but these are the waterproof ones, I believe, and just more of the same shit because I bought multiples. Cloth tape, very, very valuable. 
more of the similar shit. Hydrogen peroxide. And uh, rubbing alcohol. More fabric band aids. Uh, poison ivy soap. I mean, you're gonna be out in the woods. You might get poison ivy. Prepare to get po Prepare to get poison ivy. And of course, I got more band aids and uh, water purification tablets. Yeah, field dressing. Military field dressing. This is this would be for like a gunshot because it's it's so big. I've seen these actually open. These are fucking enormous. Uh, then of course in here I've got a first aid uh, guide. This comes standard with every Johnson Johnson basic first aid kit. Nothing special there. And then I have a military uh, survival manual. And then um, in the other side. got a bunch of holes and I mean a lot of holes I mean there's nothing worse than getting a sore throat in the woods of course I got more holes in there that's not Allegra in this bottle uh, it's full of uh, Advil then I got a night quill and a uh, flashlight for you know checking people's eyes and like and that's all I got in this one so if you have a bug out bag and you have a family and you have a plan to bug out you got a bug out location I believe that you should make a bug out bag for everybody that's in your family or in your group maybe if they don't have a bug out bag or they financially can't get a bug out bag so it would make it easier on everybody I'm Limbless Cadaver and I approve of this message